Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Danny. And I uh, got a little Donner Strip video I wanted to do. I've got uh, some of my puzzles in the background. I got Stan Musial, Roberto Clemente, and Warren Spawn looking down on us. And uh, today we're going to do a blaster box of 2020 Donruss. Uh, picked this up not too terribly long ago. Had it in the stash and uh, trying to get some of my, my stuff cleaned up and uh, get some of these sets put together and built and, and uh, whatnot. So I wanted to go ahead and rip this today. Hopefully we'll get lucky and pull something awesome out of here. And I uh, just appreciate you clicking on this video, man. I know you your time is valuable and I know you got a lot of things going on in your life and uh, including trying not to get COVID um, looks like we might have a thick pack in there but uh, we'll jump in these we won't dawdle we'll jump in here I've got the majority of this set uh, put together already uh, looks like we get 11 hollow purples and 5 rapture parallels so it's basically going to be one per pack looks like uh, something like that so let's just go through and see what we can find all right, we got Albert Pujols, Joey Gallo, flip us around here, Jose Abreu, Justin Dunn. There's a Cody Bellinger Diamond King, Juan Soto card. All right, there is a name variation uh, purple of Tony Gwynn. All right, so we're going to stand that up. That is my friend Scotty Aranya's favorite player. And we got a Joe Palumbo. Um, favorite player from his childhood, I think is probably a more correct uh, thing to say. All right, next pack, Jorge Soler, focus, Manny Machado, Eric Hosmer, Trent Grisham, rated rookie, Christian Yelich. All right, so there is one of our rapture parallels, Fernando Tatis Jr., that's a legit card. Look at that. Look at that shine. Shiny. All right, we got a Johnny Cueto. All right, with San Francisco. And then an Edwin Rios rookie card. So we'll start a separate kind of pile for, for those cards. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, staying safe, staying healthy. Um, I dig, I dig Donruss, man. I just think it's a great value. I think they really try to put good cards in your hands not as many numbered cards this year because i think they kind of tried to um, step it up with their inserts and parallels and whatnot so marco gonzalez trey mancini all right we got a max scherzer all right so there is ronald acuna name variation yeah if you see the red right there that means it's a variation of some sort matt thais Oh, there's a cool one. All right, so this has got the emoji stuff all over it. That's Ramon Laureano with the, the baby shark, I guess, is what that's called. So we'll stand that up over here. Let's get our let's get our stuff sorted back out. That way we can take it all the way across. These boxes are perfect where you can get six cards all the way across. And then we got a Joey Gallo purple. And then got a Kevin Mitchell. All right, next pack. Whoopsie. Get that trash out the way. All right. All right, there is a Ronald Acuna Jr. regular. So we'll stand them up right there with the other card. Eddie Rosario. Corey Kluber. Pete Alonzo, Diamond King. That's nice. Don't know if I had that one yet. All right, Man of Steel. That's Ricky Henderson. And that's a name variation for that card. And I've seen this card a hundred times in videos, but I don't think I had it in the binder yet. So I'm stoked to have that. All right, we got us a Forrest Whitley Rapture Parallel. That's a cool one. Followed by Vlad Jr. All right, that's nice. Vlad Jr. Purple will stand him up. All right, then there's the Ricky Henderson and for the... Folks who don't collect out there, that's the difference, right? It's just a name variation. And so the name variation should have, you see, how it's got, it's a higher number card, so it's blacked in. And also, if you look, the, it's flipped over, so the backer is uh, inverted. So anyhow, that's kind of the stuff you're looking for. 
that's a thick pack so I'm gonna hold it till last just in case we wound up getting a relic in it it may be just be a dummy card you never know uh, but that could be a could be a hit so we'll wait on it so there's a Pete Alonzo I'm gonna stand him up back here in the back got a Kirby Yates Mike Miner Bryce Harper Clayton Kershaw and then we've got a Team USA here of Tanner Allen and on the back it's got King Griffey Jr. So that one's a pretty sweet one. We'll stick him down here. And then we've got a Jose Ramirez and a Josh Rojas. Alright, a few more packs to go. One thing I've noticed about folks ripping cards right now is that people are kind of taking their time and enjoying the cards they rip because it seems like cards are just harder to come by right now so uh, might as well enjoy it right we've got a Tommy Edmond Ramon Laureano DJ LeMayhew who is a former LSU Tiger alright there's an AJ Puck rated rookie like that one Javier Baez and then we've got the 4th of July parallel vintage stock whatever you, whatever these called uh, Justin Verlander so that's a that's a collectible card so we'll stick him down here and then a Tony Gonsolin, purple as well. Finish up the pack and Aaron Savali. Next pack, Adalberto Mondesi, Chris Paddock. There is a Mookie Betts for the PC. The Degrominator, so that's going to be a name variation of Jake Degrom. Brendan McKay, rated rookie. That's a nice one. All right, Anthony Rizzo is seen on TV. Um, they have this one already, which is, I mean, still a cool card. Michael Brantley and then a Yu Chang. I know I got a lot of friends that don't collect uh, Donruss because he, um, for my non-sports car collector friends out there, Donruss doesn't have licensing rights, so they can't put the actual team names. They can't show team logos and things, and so some people think the cards are kind of boring for that. And although I, you know, I sense if you focus in on it, it's a little bit bland, but I still think Donruss does a good job in spite of not having this license agreement to put out a really good product. So that's just my opinion. Josh Berrios, Tommy Pham, Marcelo Zunia, Cattell Marte, Diamond King. There's a B2, uh, Bobby Bradley. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got a Rapture Parallel of Austin Meadows for Tampa Bay. Uh, Jorge Soler, Purple. And then a Cal Ripken. So that's cool. All right, just a few packs left. All right, I saw a name I liked on the back of that. This pack, Brian Anderson, Freddie Freeman. There is a Glaber Torres, followed by Mike Trout. Can't go wrong with Mike Trout cards. Followed by Nico Horner. So there's a rookie that uh, people are collecting. Austin Meadows. All right, we got a purple Lance Lynn, Diamond King. Not even familiar with the Rangers. All right, and there's the name I was talking about. There's a Canseco, Jose Canseco. Pretty sweet, right? All right, two more packs. Well, there we go. All right, got a George Springer, Reese Hoskins, Francisco Lindor, Josh Bell, Brock Burke, rated rookie. All right, then we got an Albert Pujols, fifth player to reach 2,000 RBI highlights card in the Rapture Parallel, followed by the Michael King uh, rookie card. And last but not least, we have a Keith Hernandez. Uh, shout out to Carl Topia. All right, last pack. Like I said, it was thicker, so hopefully it's not just a filler card. Well, maybe we got something. All right, so let's do this. Let's look at our back couple cards. We've got a Dale Murphy. 
All right, Dale Murphy can't go wrong with a Dale Murphy card. And there's a channel that's been commenting, and now that I'm focusing, I can't remember. I think it's the Murph. Uh, crap. I'll find you, and I'll link your I'll link your channel uh, below. Um, man, I'm on the spot here, and I can't think of it. So anyhow, I'll, I'll, I will find your channel name and link it. How about that? And uh, hopefully, you guys will check out that link and go and give due to sub. So there you go. That was a childhood PC guy. All right, our purple is a Lewis Thorpe. Okay, then we got a Yandy Diaz, a Mitch Garver. We got a David Fletcher. All right, and Aaron Judge. And then we got a Patrick Sandoval. And then it feels like we got us a patch. And we're just going to flip it real quick. Chipper Jones. All right, we got a Chipper Jones relic. So, my Braves fans out there, let me know what you think about that. Um, and I'm a, a big stickler for this, guys. It frustrates me when the image and the patch don't match. In this case, it does. So, kudos to Panini Donruss for making that happen. So, that's a that's a pretty good... So we got a hit. It's very rare that I get a hit, but I got a hit in this box. All right, so let's see. I'm not going to go through the purples or the diamond or rapture parallels. I don't think they were that good, um, but I did. Let's see. We'll pick up the rookies here. And so we got an A.J. Puck, Brandon McKay, and a Nico Horner rookie. We got... The Ronald Acuna plus the name variation. Uh, got a Justin Verlander, old stock, vintage stock. Um, pulled a Trout. Always fun to catch a Trout. Also, Mookie Betts for the PC. Um, we'll grab these all up together. We got a Tony Gwynn, purple. Fernando Tatis Jr., Rapture. Got the Pete Alonzo. And the Vlad uh, Jr. purple, so that's that's pretty sweet, right? We got the Ramon Laureano emoji, which I think is baby shark or a shark or a fish emoji or whatever it is. I'm not sure. Um, don't know any Oakland fans necessarily, uh, but still a pretty cool card. And last but not least, we got the hit. We got us a Chipper Jones uh, relic card. So we'll get that put up here in just a moment. Ooh, I thought something was wrote on it there for a second. So having said that, guys, we're going to cut the video. What do y'all think about that? And uh, Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And friends, we're going to cut this video right here. Hope you have a blessed week, blessed weekend, blessed day. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.